Hey, what's going on YouTube? David here again. Uh, today I'm going to be making a video outlining how I do a rewick on the Limitless RDTA. Um, I'm making this video for a couple of my Instagram followers who are interested in getting the tank. So I'm just going to bang this out real quick. Hopefully keep it under 10 minutes. I apologize if things go in and out of focus. You know, I'm doing this through my viewfinder on my phone obviously so um and i'm so my hands are going to be in and out of the frame and causing things to come in and out of focus so i apologize for that uh just gonna start this off with um how i would do it normally you can see the tank is still fully assembled i've got my supplies here uh ceramic tip tweezers my leatherman which has my scissors on it and some cotton uh this is a full-size cotton sheet. The way I do things and wick it, I go ahead and I cut this sheet in half, and then I cut each half into thirds, and so that'll give so each cotton sheet will give me six individual wicks, and that's just determined with what I've worked best for me, based on the coil build I use in this tank, which is just a basic round wire build. It's a, it's a 10 or 11 wrap, 24 gauge canthal wrapped around a two and a half millimeter coil jig. So that's what I'm doing for the coils. I'm not going to do a video on that. There's a million and one videos on how to do a coil build, especially a round wire build. So all I'm going to be showing you guys today is how I wick this RDTA in order to get the the performance I prefer to get out of it. So here we go. Start off, you just take the top off it here. Just kind of hold the tank in place until I get this top sleeve unscrewed like so. Again, I apologize for the wonky focusing on my phone. Uh, actually, I'll just use my tweezers for this. Just go ahead and take the old wicks out. You know, kind of carefully and slowly so that I'm not slinging juice everywhere. As you can see, there's still juice in the tank section. It's one of the really awesome things about RDTAs like this is you can just go ahead and... You can just go ahead and take the top off, do your rewick, do a coil build if you need to, and leave your juice in the tank. Um, I'm not going to bother dry burning these coils right now like I normally would. I literally just rewicked this thing yesterday. It just, I wasn't able to make a video at all during that portion. So I'm, I'm not going to bother dry burning these coils. I just did it yesterday. They don't really need it yet. So this right here, let's see if I can get it in frame for you guys. There you go. This cotton section is two-thirds of one of those half of a cotton sheets. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this in half. Again, if I was doing it from a whole half of a cotton sheet, I would be, I would be cutting it into thirds, but I've already cut a third of it off, so I'm cutting what I've got left in half. Then I go ahead and I peel off this outer kind of stiffer, harder layer that all organic cotton sheets have. Then I go ahead and I kind of just spin it, spin the ends to make them nice and e easy to, to push through the, the coils here. And I go ahead and I pull it out. Oh, well, that, okay, so that cotton got screwed up. You know what? Maybe I should dry burn these coils for you real quick. Uh, that way all the juice gets off of it. So let's go ahead and dry burn these coils. Yep, they don't call it dry burning for nothing. Okay, make sure and lock your mod so that you don't have to worry about 
accidentally pressing the fire button while you're touching the actual coils. Again, just gonna trying to do this on frame for you guys. I cut it in half off frame without thinking, I apologize. But so there's another there's another chunk of cotton. So again, tear off the outer kind of rough layer of cotton. Go ahead and give it a spin. Push it on through. So there we go, there's one. Let me get the other cotton prepped. Might have taken a little bit too much off of this one, but oh well. The trick I found with this RDTA, at least, I can't speak for all RTD, RDTAs. Um, grab the tweezers here, that might help me do it. There we go. Is, and I, I'm not, this is not my unique idea, I got this from another video, is to wick these extremely short because you know you're working against gravity with any type of dripping setup whether it's an rdta like this or an rda you're working against gravity so you really want to make these wicks as short as possible while still allowing them to function properly so what i do is i just kind of hold the wicks nice up against the tank here and just about halfway up i snip them it doesn't have to be perfect snip them and then I go ahead and cut off just a little bit of an angle here to kind of help thin out the ends some There we go. And now I'm going to actually thin out the ends. And all I'm doing is I'm taking my tweezers and just kind of tearing away at the, at the ends of the cotton here. You can see it kind of fluffing off there, getting stuck on the tweezers. That, that's what you want. You want it. Kind of sort of the consistency of cotton candy. It doesn't have to be, again, it's not rocket science. We're not, we're not trying to make it absolutely perfect, but. You just want to thin the ends of the cotton out in order to make it e as easy as possible for that juice, again, to fight gravity up into the wicks. Okay, so let me do that. There we go. You also want the wicks to be kind of as even as possible. So as much sticking out on either side of the coil as you can. So see if I can focus it here. So now you guys can see the wicks are really very short. They're just kind of, and this one's probably a little too short, but it'll it should work just fine. And they're nice and thinned and fluffed out on the ends there again kind of sort of look, looking like cotton candy and then what I do I just take some e-juice I'm got outlaw by villain vapors it's uh, what I've already got in the tank so and you just kind of paint your coils and as and the wicks and you want to tuck your wicks into the wick channels here, dripping juice all over my table. And just push the wicks. See, this is why I was saying this one might be a little too short. Is it's having issues staying in the wick channel. 
Should be alright though. And just push the wicks into those channels, get them all nice and juiced up. The reason you want to make sure that these are in these wick channels really nicely is because we got to thread that top piece back on and if the wicks are not all the way in these wick channels then you're going to get wick caught in the threads and things aren't going to seal up properly. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take there we go take my tweezers and pull this end out some more that way it kind of sits in there better. Okay so now we're all wicked and juiced up. Put the put this cap piece back on. Uh, it helps if you thread it backwards first to make sure you're not cross threading anything. And then what I do is I crank this thing down a bit so that I get it to where it's kind of you can see. The fill hole right there, you can see the little juice droplet thing too, is right kind of in between the coils, or the wicks rather. And that's what you want for unobstructed filling. Now what I do is I take my tweezers, kind of shove them down through the wick channels here to allow an a good air space for the air to flow through from the top and that also helps to ensure proper wicking and feeding of the juice up into the wicks from down in the tank section. So now we've got some nicely wicked coils Producing the vapor, cap off the juice there, make sure when you're putting your top cap back on that you line up the airflow holes with the coils. With the way I tighten it up, it's usually, you can see the drop, a little juice dropper thing, is kind of off-centered a little bit from the Limitless logo. So that's usually how it works really well for me. And you definitely want to make sure that... Alright folks, sorry for the rather abrupt ending Abrupt ending there. Uh, my phone fell over on its little tripod setup I had going on. And then I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode before I started recording. So my wife called me like 10 seconds after that to say she was on her way home from work. Uh, so, again, sorry for the abrupt ending there on the close-up of the, of the uh, rewick video. But what I was, had been saying is you really want to make sure that your coils are lined up with these airflow holes. That's the way you're going to get the best vapor production and the best flavor out of any tank, any sort of, uh, you know, RDA, RDTA type setup like this. You know, you really want to make sure those coils are lined up with the wicks. So, but again, take the cap off here, all wicked up, all juiced up. And as you can see, producing really good vapor, producing really good flavor. This uh, Outlaw by Villain Vapors that I, I showed in the video is a uh, apple gummy flavored, so really, really good. Um, and with these wicks, with this wick setup, just the tilting action like that of me taking a vape is enough to tilt all that juice to the bottom of the wicks. And then again, the, the thinness I had at the bottom there really helps it to fight gravity and work up to the coil area in order to produce the vapor so I hope this video helped I apologize it was kind of slapdash um, I did what I could with the equipment I have I actually had a a camera camera uh, with video capabilities I was that I had on a better tripod setup that would not have fallen over like that but I was using the micro SD card in my phone 
in an adapter SD card in that, and for whatever reason it said card not initialized, so I wasn't able to actually use that camera to film, so uh, again, I hope that helped, and uh, hope everyone has a good rest of their weekend, uh, happy vaping, and for those of you that are watching this that also smoke pipes and cigars like I do, happy smoking.